CBS 13 Steve Large has the new details on the action being taken to try to keep the community safe there. Steve. Yeah, no question. This community is rattled. And tonight, people gathered about this meeting on safety just feet away from where this deadly shooting took place. East Sacramento invited guests only stepped out of the private Sutter Lawn Tennis Club after a safety meeting with the mayor. I, I think it was really important to listen and to hear um, the, the fear and the anger. I didn't know Kate Tibbetts. Cell phone video from a member in attendance captured the scene inside where police disclosed the timeline of the noontime Thursday shooting outside the tennis club that killed 70 year old Charles Starzynski. Police revealing they had ID'd the license plate of the suspect vehicle within just 35 minutes and located the suspect in three and a half hours. They had him arrested in seven hours. Police also confirming the shooter was the passenger of the suspect car and the driver was not arrested. Her involvement is under investigation. Our goal right now is to develop the case so that it's ready for prosecution because we owe that to the family. 55 years I've lived here and um, I've never been so worried. Angela Giannullius lives in East Sacramento and grew up spending her afternoons at the Sutter Lawn Tennis Club. We all live in fear daily. This murder really hits home. It could be any one of us, our children. Our children are here daily. Among the attendees tonight, the brother of murder victim Kate Tibbetts, who was killed inside her Land Park neighborhood home in 2021. Who is your message to tonight? The voters, because at all levels of government, the governor's office, the state legislature, city councils, our mayor, county board of supervisors. There's a monumental failure of our elected officials. The aftermath of an East Sacramento murder and a community seeking a renewed sense of safety that's no longer certain. And people here did ask about the motive in this case. Was Charles Starzynski targeted or was this a case of random violence and tonight the police chief would not answer those questions she said that it, it could impact the prosecution of the case yeah on edge uneasiness fed up you picked the word steve thank you